Imagine standing at a crossroads, each path representing a choice, a decision that could shape your future. Every time we make a choice, we're faced with a simple yet profound truth. To gain something, we often have to give something up. This is the essence of opportunity cost, a concept that's not just for economists, but for all of us in our daily lives. Let's dive into this fascinating idea and see how it plays out in the world of production possibilities. Opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative that we forgo when we make a decision. It's not always about money. Sometimes it's about time, resources, or even relationships. Think about it. When you choose to spend your evening watching your favorite show, you're giving up the chance to read that book you've been meaning to get to or to catch up with a friend. That's opportunity cost in action, and it's a principle that holds significant importance in economics, especially when we talk about production possibilities. Now, let's take this concept a step further and explore how it relates to production possibilities. Picture an economy that has a limited amount of resources, be it labor, capital, or raw materials. The production possibility frontier, or PPC, is a visual representation of the maximum output combinations of two goods that this economy can produce efficiently. It's like a boundary that shows us what's possible given our resources and technology. Imagine a country that can produce either computers or cars. If it decides to allocate more resources to manufacturing computers, it will inevitably have to divert resources away from car production. This is where opportunity cost comes into play. The more resources we dedicate to one good, the more we sacrifice in terms of the other. This trade-off can be illustrated beautifully through the PPC, which typically bows outward, showing us the law of increasing opportunity cost. As we shift our resources from one product to another, the opportunity cost rises. Why? Because not all resources are equally suited for every type of production. For instance, if our economy is heavily invested in car manufacturing and we suddenly want to produce more computers, we might have to use resources that are less efficient for computer production, leading to a higher opportunity cost. Let's break this down with a real-world example. Picture a farmer with a plot of land. Initially, he decides to plant wheat because it's what he knows best. As he allocates more land and resources to wheat, he sees great yields. But when he wants to grow corn as well, he finds that the land and resources he's using for wheat aren't as effective for corn. The more he wants to grow corn, the more wheat he has to sacrifice, and the opportunity cost of growing corn increases. This is the law of increasing opportunity cost in action. Now, you might be wondering, how does this apply to our everyday decision-making? Well, think about your own life. Whether you're a student deciding how to spend your study time, a business owner allocating your budget, or even a government determining how to distribute its resources, you're constantly weighing options and considering opportunity costs. Let's say you're a student with a limited amount of time to study for exams. You can either focus on math or history. If you decide to spend more time on math, the opportunity cost is the history knowledge you could have gained during that time. The more time you allocate to one subject, the less you have for the other, and the trade-offs become increasingly significant. In the business world, companies face similar dilemmas. Imagine a tech company with a fixed budget for research and development. Should it invest more in improving its existing product or in developing a new one? If it chooses to allocate more resources to enhancing its current product, the opportunity cost is the potential innovations that could have come from developing a new product. This is a critical decision-making moment that can define the company's future. So, how can we make better decisions in light of opportunity cost? The key lies in understanding the trade-offs involved. By carefully evaluating the benefits and drawbacks of each option, we can align our decisions with our goals. It's about being strategic and recognizing that every choice has consequences. Let's consider a government that needs to decide between investing in education or healthcare. Increasing funding for education might lead to a more skilled workforce in the long run, but it comes at the cost of immediate healthcare services. 
by weighing the opportunity costs and considering the long-term benefits of each choice, the government can make informed decisions that optimize resource allocation for the greater good. In our personal lives, we can apply the same principles. When faced with a decision, take a moment to consider what you might be giving up. Is it worth it? Are there alternative paths that could lead to better outcomes? By understanding the law of increasing opportunity cost, we empower ourselves to make choices that align with our values and aspirations. As we navigate through life's decisions, let's remember that opportunity cost is not just a dry economic principle. It's a lens through which we can view our choices. It encourages us to think critically about how we allocate our time, resources, and energy. Whether it's in our personal lives, our careers, or in the broader economy, understanding opportunity cost can lead us to make more informed, strategic decisions that maximize our potential and lead to fulfilling outcomes. In conclusion, the law of increasing opportunity cost is a powerful concept that drives decision-making in production possibilities and beyond. By recognizing the trade-offs involved in our choices, we can optimize our resource allocation and ultimately achieve our goals. So, the next time you're faced with a decision, think about the opportunity cost. What are you willing to give up for what you want? By asking ourselves this question, we can navigate our choices with greater clarity and purpose. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of opportunity cost and its impact on our lives.